Hi everyone, welcome to Sonali's Home Foods. Well, Makar Sankranti is right around the corner and it's time to make Tirugu Ladoos. So let's get started. To make these Ladoos, we will need 1 and 3 fourth cups of sesame seeds, 1 and a half cup of jaggery, 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter and 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder. First take a white based pan or a kadhai and heat it on a very low flame. And then add 1 and a half cup of sesame seeds. I prefer to use the brown sesame seeds but you can use the white ones if you like it. It's just that the color will be a little different. And now roast it on very low flame for at least 4 to 5 minutes. And you can also make a variation by using 1 cup of sesame seeds and half cup of uh, peanuts instead of using 1 and half cup of sesame seeds. Make sure that the flame is on low and you're constantly stirring so that you don't end up with the burnt seeds. After 3-4 minutes, we can feel the lightness in these seeds as they are nicely toasted and the color has also changed. So this is a good time to turn off the flame. And I'll continue stirring it for another minute or so. And it is time to remove the seeds in a plate and let them cool down completely. While the seeds are cooling down, let's reheat the pan again on low flame. Take one fourth cup of sesame seeds and toast them very lightly just for a minute, not more. Yes, we can roast all the seeds together, but I saved this one fourth cup of sesame seeds separately because I'm going to add them as is without grinding it. And I did not want to change their color because that way, you know, they will look very nice in the brown lettuce. That's it. I think this is enough toasting. I will turn off the flame. And now let's remove them in a plate to cool down. We are not going to grind this, so just let's keep them aside and mix them in the end. Now in a dry grinder jar, take half of the seeds that we have roasted. and grind it to a coarse powder. Now in a food processor jar, first let's take the coarsely powdered sesame seeds. And to this, now let's add one teaspoon of cardamom powder and pulse it together so that the cardamom powder is nicely mixed with the sesame seeds. Now it's time to add the jaggery. I have taken one and a half cup of jaggery but you can take a little less if you want or a little more if you want. I did not very tightly pack the jaggery in this cups. It was very lightly packed. So it's like one and one fourth cup of jaggery probably. Mix it lightly. And now close the lid and pulse it for a few times. I just open and check it if it has the jaggery has mixed properly. Of course it will need more grinding together. So I'll close it and now I will grind it together for good half a minute. This grinding process will definitely generate some heat and it will bind the sesame seeds and jaggery very nicely. I'll open it to check and yes definitely it's coming together. So at this point, I will add one tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. Close the lid. And let us process it for another half minute. Now 
looks like it has all come together very well so let's stop the processor Now let us remove the mixture in the bowl. Add the sesame seeds that we had lightly toasted and set aside. Let's mix them all. Let's mix everything nicely. Time to make laddus. So let's take a small part and roll it into a tight ball. You can shape it nicely using both your hands and gently rolling the ball in between both your palms. Our first yogurt ladoo is now ready. I will demonstrate one more. Our next one is ready too and in the same way make laddus with the remaining mixture too and our tirgu laddus are ready to be served. I hope you liked this recipe and if you did please don't forget to click on the like button and please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Let's meet very soon with another recipe till then take care and stay safe. Wishing you all a very happy Makara Sankranta.